As the rebuilding process begins for so many across our state following the hurricane, many local organizations are collecting donations. CBS News Miami Zakaya Carrero is live for us tonight. What do people need to know about Jim? Chelsea, we came here to Gem because people always want to know how they can help. So we came here to find out what is needed and what is not needed by donations. Over the last few days, people have been nonstop showing up here to Gem to either volunteer or donate their time. Items that are welcomed are non-perishable food items like canned goods, diapers, hygiene products, pet food, and flashlights. Items they say aren't really usable are clothes, toys, and used blankets. Gem had one truck departing today, but are already boots on the ground in hard hit areas. Um, so we have a warehouse set up in Tampa. Um, we're going to be sending aid up there. There's a truck heading out right now. We're going to continue doing that and still preparing. Jam basically prepositions. We try to stay prepared for any kind of disaster, whether it's natural, whether it's man-made. So we're just going to be there. And then for the people in, Saint, in Port St. Lucie, we have a cash card program. They're going to be receiving that. They just need to reach out to us and we'll be able to help. Now, Jem is also teaming up with Miami Carnival for a fundraiser. We'll have more details on that coming up at 11. In Doral, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.